Katie with Hill Country Hands. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today is my 35 week pregnancy update with hyperemesis and a pick line. I've been doing a weekly update for a few months now. We don't have too many weekly updates left. At most, we have three more after this. This week, it is four weeks from my scheduled C-section, unless the baby comes earlier. I definitely feel hugely pregnant. The last week or so, I feel like my, my thighs, my legs, my ankles, my feet, everything has gotten really big. I've gained more weight with this pregnancy than I did with McKenzie, even with the hyperemesis. So I am very thankful to have gained weight after losing all that weight at the beginning. It's hard for me to get around or bend over or anything like that, but those are just typical pregnancy symptoms that you get in that third trimester towards the end. I, I know I felt that way with McKenzie too, but I do think I have gained more weight this pregnancy and it's been a little bit different. Hyperemesis has been about the same the last week. I did probably overdo it a little bit. We went on a family vacation to the Frio River over the weekend with our family. It's something that we had planned months ago and I'm glad that we were still able to do it. I was feeling like I was feeling good enough to travel a short distance. It's about two hours from our house and stayed there for a couple of days with my family and obviously the baby hadn't come yet and the people that rented us the house were still okay with renting us the house even with everything going on now especially now that things are starting to reopen a little bit but i definitely overdid it i you know not used to walking around so much and just being up and talking and visiting and things like that but it was very worth it. I'm glad that I pushed myself. I mean, I didn't do any like harm for doing that. I just am not feeling the greatest the last couple of days because of it, because I always feel a little bit worse after I've overdone it, which is fine. I expected that. I wanted to go have fun with my family. I wanted to be there to watch Mackenzie play in the water. We did spend some time at the river. There was a shallow area that I was able to sit in the shade under a canopy and like some ankle deep water while McKinsey played. I did put my sleeve over my pick line and keep it really covered and safe from germs. And I did sit in like a tube with McKinsey for a little bit and Justin just pulled us around. Some really shallow water and we spent about an hour or so out at the river and then we would go take a nap and then come back for a little bit so we did that off and on and then we just spent some really good quality time with my family you know on the porch and had a campfire and just relaxed it went by really fast but i'm so thankful that i had that time with justin and mackenzie and my family before baby number two comes and things get a little bit more hectic i was really grateful and thankful for that time with them and it meant so much to to me to be able to do that but like i said i haven't been feeling as good because of that right now and i did like pull some kind of muscle in my leg while we were there it's kind of like my groin muscle so it has made it a little bit harder to like get out of bed and things like that but it is getting better it was really bad the first day when i did it but my nausea and vomiting is the same I've just been keeping up with the Finnegan even when we were gone and with the fluids, my antacid every day of course, and then the continuous Zofran still at that highest dose. Hoping that all this hyperemesis stuff will be over with in four weeks at most, maybe a little bit sooner if the baby decides to come sooner. I have had a lot more Braxton Hicks. I'm glad that I didn't go into labor while we were out of town. It wasn't that far from the hospital, but still. I feel like we're ready if they do come now. The goal still, my doctor said, would be to try to make it to 37 weeks. The C-section is still scheduled for 39 weeks, though. 
on June 3rd. We're excited and anxious to meet baby number two. And it did happen over the weekend was one of my stitches came out of my pick line. I noticed when I was looking at it, so if you watched my pick line video and saw my pick, how it looks up close, you know that it has two sides that are sutured in. So there's two sutures. So one of them completely came out and so I just have the one now holding it in place and then the cobian is wrapped around. I let the home health nurse know right away when I noticed it and then she came by today and looked at it and it's completely out. I think that, you know, I've had this pick for a couple months now. Um, it's been a few months since they took this one out and put it in this arm. I think that the stitches are just starting to kind of wear down because I didn't get it stuck on anything, I didn't get it pulled. And usually whenever I'm getting it pulled on anything in the past, it's the bottom one that I have that issue with. The bottom one's the one that irritates me and hurts me the most, and that's where like the weight of this pulling, and it's not that one, so it's the top one that came out. She is okay with just waiting to see, hopefully if we can just be really careful with it for the next couple weeks, and just hopefully that one suture will stay in there. When she cleaned it, it looked like it was really secured well, so I'm comfortable with that plan. I really don't want to have to go get a whole nother pick. I'm worried if we go to the pick place that they're not just going to want to add another suture to that one part. I'm worried that they're going to want to do a whole new pick because we kind of got some conflicting information on how often a pick needs to be replaced. The pick place told me like every six to eight weeks, but my nurses and doctors and then people that Justin has talked to at our work have said it can last much longer than that. Some people have the same pick up to a year. I'm not sure what the information is on the sutures. I'm sure sutures can't last probably for a year like this, but I'm not exactly sure. But the pick place seems to always just want to like redo it. Nothing against them, I don't know, maybe that's just policy, but I really don't want to have to go through having another new pick when we only have four weeks at most left because it seems like most likely the doctor will but let them take the pick out while we're at the hospital. I don't think I'll be coming home on meds even if I still am having some hyperemesis issues. Research that I've done seems that if you still are having hyperemesis issues postpartum, you probably have some like gastrointestinal damage done. So you need to go see like a GI specialist. Uh, typically like your OB is not going to continue to treat you for hyperemesis stuff once you're postpartum. So I highly doubt that I'll be coming home with the pig line. So anyway, I just really hope I don't have to get a new one. It's just, especially right now, it's not bothering me at all. Before, you know, if it was if it was irritated or infected or something like that, then of course, like I understand that we would need to do a new one. But it's just that that stitch wore down. So, fingers crossed. I don't have to get a new one, and this one just lasts. And hopefully, maybe baby will come like a week earlier. Of course, we want baby to be healthy, stay in there as long as they need to, as long as they can. I. Definitely want whatever is best for the baby. I've gone through so much already. I few more weeks is not going to make a huge difference. We are just excited and ready to meet baby. So that is my update for this week. Not a whole lot going on except for the the stitch coming out of the pick. Just keeping doing what we're doing. Next week on Tuesday I have my sonogram and doctor's appointment where she's going to do another like growth scan, see how much the baby is like weighing make sure they're on track, and then also look at my cervix to see if anything is progressing, am I dilating at all, or anything like that. After that, we'll have weekly appointments until the baby gets here. So hopefully we'll have some good info for next week's update. I still don't know what the hospital rules and policies are on visitors or exactly what's going to happen for the delivery with everything that's going on, but I, I've just been kind of trying to hold off because things are changing so quickly. Everything going on out there seems like things are getting a little bit more back to normal right now. They're opening up more things. So I'm just not going to worry about it right now. 
the plan right now is just us assuming we can't have visitors, but assuming that my husband will be able to be there. And then even if we are able to have visitors, we probably will try to limit those and probably not have Mackenzie come up to the hospital just because we don't want to risk anyone getting sick or Mackenzie getting sick or anything like that or anybody bringing something to the newborn possibly. So we're just going to wait and see what happens but we do want everybody to be careful for themselves and for our little family because the last thing that we need is to get sick or expose the newborn to something. But I'm hopeful things will get back to normal so that everybody can meet the baby soon. It's still the week that I'm doing my video a day leading up to Mother's Day series. So I will have a new video for y'all tomorrow. Thank you for keeping up with our little family and keeping up with my updates. And for all the thoughts and prayers, we really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm trying to reach 150 subscribers in the month of May. I'm at like 125, I think right now. So I need about 25 subscribers. That would be amazing for me to reach my goal this month. Thank you for watching.